How's it going, everybody? My name is Joe, and I'm going to be reacting to Tales of the Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 6. Thanks for stopping by. Once again, my name is Joe from Joe Reacts TV. And if this is your first time, please stick around. I react to a wide range of shows such as She-Hulk, Better Call Saul, The Rings of Power, The House of Dragon, and many, many more. If any of those shows intrigue you, please stick around and subscribe. As for last episode, I have a couple bullet points here. In a small town in Maine, Devon awakens with a head wound and temporary amnesia and shackled to the corpse of a woman named Amanda. After putting Amanda down, Devon hallucinates Amanda talking to him, accusing Devon of murder. In flashbacks, a wounded Devon arrives in town seven weeks earlier and is taken in by Amanda and her sister Nora, with whom he develops a romantic relationship. In the present, Devon finds a zombified boy in Amanda's basement and puts him down before being captured by the townspeople who accuse Devon of murdering their missing children and attempt to execute him. His memory slowly returning, Devon remembers finding Nora's son Garen, who escaped while Devon fought off, shackled himself too, and accidentally killed Amanda in self-defense when she tried to kill him. Escaping his execution, Devon finds Garen with Amanda's son Arnaud, who has been kidnapping and murdering the town's children, convinced that he is sparing them from the horrors of the world while Amanda has been protecting him. Finding the reanimated bodies of two of Arnaud's victims, Devon summons the townspeople and exposes Arnaud while Garen exonerates Devon. The enraged parents feed Arnaud to his own victims in revenge, and the disgusted Devon leaves town. So that is the quick summary of the last episode and now we're on to episode six so without further ado let's just get into the episode cool camera work yeah you know like a vuka i got the bad kind of whiskey with this one <laughs> there are no bad whiskey never mind Definitely someone there. There's their chickens. Is anyone there? Fireplace is on. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Not creepy at all. Can we trust her? That's the real question. <laughs> He's choking or a heart attack? What's happening? Oh. Damn. <laughs> Creepy. Now you guys are haunted. He's dead. But there's a way we can take his house. <laughs> we're not... We're not taking it anymore. Could you settle down with me in this sick-ass house and do nothing for forever? <laughs> we could even... Yeah, now you guys gotta check out every single room and crevice in this building. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Who's there? Uh, I figure is it a parrot, another bird. Tell me that again. I don't care. You're close. <laughs> Got you. Definitely didn't know what was gonna happen tonight. Damn. That was just an awful, Adam. awful joke. I'm sorry. Jesus. You're gonna go outside by yourself? Bad one. See, this would have been the first thing I would have done. 
I would have explored the whole house before doing anything else. <laughs> but I'll come for you. Tearing you apart. What does that mean? <laughs> Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> That's crazy. Someone in the house. All in his mind. <laughs> Dahlia, what the hell? Oh, sorry. About what? <laughs> what the heck? Jeez, they're killing people. Losing it, man. You're the one seeing things, right? Not me. No, Eric. <laughs> it's in your head. You're the one seeing things, don't you? You can't trust me. <laughs> the turn. All right. The twist and Answer turn. Me this, huh? Answer me this. That was a weird cut. It was inside and out. <laughs> so creepy. You gotta go. <laughs> go. Oh my god. Damn. Alrighty, so that was the season finale of Tales of the Walking Dead. So the episode revolved around two survivors, Italia and Eric. Italia and Eric were just surviving out in the world until Maria suggested that they can visit this old healer's house to take shelter for the night. They go to her house. We learn that her name is Maria, and she allows both of them to stay for one night. Her only stipulation was that they would have to leave the following morning. Over dinner, Eric has an outburst towards Maria, and in that argument, Maria ends up choking or having a heart attack it was kind of hard to tell she ends up banging her head in a table and dies then they end up burying her outside afterwards italia has been feeling very guilty she was walking around the house and checking out all her religious crosses and trinkets and such while italia is doing that eric comes across a parrot he grew fond of the parrot but very quickly turned sour after the parrot wouldn't be quiet through Italia's guilt, she kept seeing hallucinations or visions or Maria just popping out to scare her. Obviously, none of these things were real, but it was just all in her head. This also spread to Eric, where he was having hallucinations as well. Italia finally put her foot down and told Eric that the following morning, they were going to leave the home. And that night, Eric got so frustrated that he ended up killing the parrot. That following morning, he starts digging up a grave for the parrot, and he hears knocking on the outside wall gate. He's getting hallucinations that it's Maria, and just to kind of rewind, I think I kind of called the old lady Maria. I kind of forget what her name is, but I was calling her Maria, so don't disregard that. But this Maria, Maria, the real Maria, I guess was someone from their group, and they had a fend off. 
where something happened to Maria's ankle. Eric fell to the trap to start letting the supposed Maria in, but Italia was there to stop him, and they found out it was just a zombie. And through this hallucination, illusions, just trickery that's going on in their heads, it causes them to fight. It led to Maria apparently digging out of her grave. Italia was mad at Eric because he didn't fully kill her by stabbing her brain. This continued into them physically fighting each other, and they ended up killing each other down in the basement. That's pretty much all the main points that happened in this episode. Overall, I think I liked it. I probably put it on, on the better half of the six. So if I were to rank the whole season, the first episode would probably still be number one. Number two would be the Alpha episode. This one, number three. Devon, number four. The National Geographic episode number five. And last one, the Groundhog Day episode as, as the worst episode. But all in all, it was really interesting for The Walking Dead to create the series, a little anthology series. Just different stories within The Walking Dead universe. So I really hope they renew this and bring this back for season two. So if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,